Happy Canada Day from the Whidbey Public Library's Virtual Library. My name is Sue, and I'm so happy you could join me for my reading of The Three Little Pigs, one of my favorite children's classics. I hope you're all doing well and staying home and safe. Before we begin, I would love to hear what are some of the ways that you've been keeping busy while learning and, and working from home? Oh, it looks like I, I have a caller on the line. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bonjour, le Belle Belle. Bonjour. Oh, bonjour, Belle. Please tell me, how have you been keeping busy these last three months? Oh, reading, obviously. <laughs> After the first week, I finished all of my library books I had at home, and then I moved on to ebooks. And when I ran out of those, I had to order more paperbacks through contactless pickup. So books have been my best friend. Lovely to hear. And I must say, I happen to agree. I've also been helping my father with his latest invention, the, uh, whatchamacallit? We've tested it three times so far, and I think we figured out the final piece that'll make it work. That sounds interesting. What is the last piece, do you think? Some sort of reflective material, like a mirror. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me. Have either of you seen the crafting table? What? Um, the the crafting table. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, okay. So I just popped up into this really strange new universe inside of the cottage in the woods. So I went inside to find the crafting table because, well, night is starting to come, and this kid he's playing on survival mode. So I really need to get my stuff in order. I'm the creeper, by the way. Um, so yeah, I need the crafting table. Have you seen it? This is the virtual branch of the Whippy Public Library. I'm sorry, who did you say you were again? Uh, I'm the creeper. The virtual branch of the Whippy Public Library. I'm sorry, what do you mean? Yeah, uh, well, you see, since our closure in March, the library has moved all of our programs online. Really, all of them? Oh, but don't worry, we still have a full lineup of Summer Reading Club fun, including our TD Summer Reading Club kickoff carnival on July the 9th. We have a very special online performance scheduled. Check out our website for more details. Cool, uh, but dude, seriously, uh, where's the crafting table? Night is coming and I need to get my supplies in order here. I apologize. I really have no idea what you mean. Ah, uh, it looks like I have another caller. Do you mind? Sure. Go ahead. Oh. Hey, caller. What's your name? I'm the amazing Supergirl. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, nice to meet you, Supergirl. Yes, I bet it is. You're welcome, citizen. I had no idea you lived in Whitby. I have all of your books. <laughs> of course you do. No, no, really, I do even your first issue from 1943. I have first editions and special editions and the anniversary gold editions, all of them. Well, I mean, I am amazing. Wow. Hmm, which books are you in? I wonder if we have them at the library? You wonder? Of course you do. Don't you? Don't you? Uh, let me see. Yep. Yep. We have uh, a few ebooks on Hoopla mm, and several print as well. No gold editions, I'm afraid. Well, of course you do have them, though, in a, a hula hoop, <laughs> my old friend. Hoopla. That's what I said. Hoopla. That's Hoopla, uh, one of our most popular ebook services. Yeah, and it's not just ebooks. It's e-audiobooks and movies and music and comics. Everyone knew that. And don't forget about Libby and and Tumble Books too. Oh yeah, of course. Yes. Of course. That's what I said. 
Lupline Hebe. Love them, people. Hoopla. 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 And Libby. 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 Yeah, Hoopla and Libby. That's what I said. Oh, oh, saved by the bell. <laughs> Hate to interrupt, truly, I do. <laughs> but I have another caller. Hello, caller. What's your name? Goldilocks here. Goldilocks? We met before? Hmm, perhaps at the fairy Still ball? December? It seems like so long ago now. No, no, I don't get invited to those. Um, oh, was it, was it that villain night for super villains around Halloween? Mm, definitely not. No, no, are you sure? Positive. I, I'm pretty sure, I think that was you. You mentioned something about breaking and entering and wanting to start a life of crime. Remember? No. No? Not me. I would never. Are you sure? Oh, that was definitely not me. Okay. Creeper, uh, if she says it wasn't her, I, I believe her. And, and, and what a sweet girl you seem to be. Uh, do tell us, what have you been up to since the school's closed? Well, not only have I not been able to see my friends at school, I'm not even allowed to go home. You see, I was visiting, let's say, new friends when the emergency order was announced. I've had to self-isolate with them this whole time. And I'm in this awful cottage and I miss my home and I can't wait to go on vacation. But a cottage sounds lovely. Not this cottage. The family I'm staying with won't let me do anything. I can't sit on any of their chairs. I'm not allowed in their beds. And the porridge is either ice cold or scolding hot. And I only get one bowl a day. And you should see their faces if I ask for a second one. Oh, but their precious son gets everything. I feel like a prisoner here. And the first day I arrived, everyone tried to chase me out. And then I wasn't allowed to leave because non-essential travel was closed. I've been stuck here ever since. Oh, that sounds awful. I know what it feels like to be a prisoner in your own home, you poor thing. Is there anything we can do? Well, since you asked, I could use a grocery run. You know, just the essentials. Toilet paper, bananas, fresh squeezed orange juice, no pulp. Absolutely no pulp. Chocolate chip cookies, blueberry porridge, caviar, tiramisu, a weighted blanket, cashmere, of course, a Nintendo Switch, a few games, and maybe a 4K TV because the one here basically has bunny ears. And let's see wow. what else. Didn't uh, you say AirPods, groceries? Apple Watch, a Razor scooter. I thought you said groceries. Oh, come on. I'm dying here. It's so boring and i don't know how much more of this i can take okay all right easy does it we all have had our ups and downs this year the important thing is that we get through this together right you are Belle. i think what we all need right now is a little bit of fun i'm just going to read from one of my favorite picture books today for all my friends at home but how would you like to help me out today out of the way citizens help have arrived <laughs> Thank you, Supergirl. You're welcome. But I really could use all of your help. Here's what I have in mind. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who also happened to be siblings. They decided it was time to move into homes of their own. These siblings were excellent carpenters and were all recent graduates of Durham College's Carpentry and Renovation Technician Program. And so they decided to build their own homes. However, the first pig was a little bit lazy. Oh, this is a lot of work. 
I just want to get back to playing Minecraft. I know a quick fix. Aha. That ought to do it. Woo! A house of straw. Boom. Finished. Uh, the, the second pig was a little bit more clever, but not so great with a saw. A house of straw, that will never last. I know houses, that's where people live. Hmm, how do tools work again? You know what? Six will save the day! Just gotta put this over here and then... The... Ah, hex. third little pig was the best carpenter in the family. Come on, everyone. Straw, sticks, don't you remember our basic training? We need to use bricks. The siblings sat back and admired their creations. Just as they were beginning to get really relaxed, a big, bad, Wolf came to town. What's that I smell? Bacon? Ham? I'm having sausage tonight. The big bad wolf ran towards the first little pig's house of straw. Knock, knock, knock. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> with that, the first little pig ran all the way to his sister's house of sticks, with the wolf not far behind. <sighs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. I'll defeat you, villainous child. We can't let him in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> the two little pigs ran all the way to their brother's house of bricks as the hungry wolf grew near. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Who is it? Why, it's your grandmother. Be careful. Don't believe her. She's got a lot more experience breaking into people's houses than you think. Oh, uh, no. I don't think we'll be letting you in today. Sorry. We don't talk to strangers and also social distancing. Um, and you're definitely not in our circle. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> Really? All right, all right, all right. We'll uh, we'll just be inside reading. I suggest you go home and do the same before you hurt yourself. Yeah! Woo! What? You're welcome. Okay, you're right. We shouldn't have cut corners. I guess you were the one who saved the day this time. With my help, of course. No problem. I love my family. I'm just happy we're all healthy and safe. Eventually, the big bad wolf gave up on blowing down the house of bricks and went home. See you. The end. <laughs> Thank you everyone for all of your help today. That was my favorite reading of this story ever. Of course it was. And I did pretty great. Not to mention the villain of the story was rather convincing, wouldn't you say? A little bit in her own element. I really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but seriously, I have to find that crafting table and get going. Night is falling. 
How did she even end up here anyways? It's obvious, you guys, isn't it? When the library went online, so did all of the library's programs and their services and even their books. So what is every kid's favorite thing to do at the library after school? Testing chairs. Reading comic books. Research, research. Well, yeah, but also Minecraft. Yes. Yeah, when the library went online, it must have merged with the Minecraft world or something, and all of our universes seem to have collided as well. Yeah, that that makes sense, so, sort of. That's what I said. Comic books, DC universe, universes colliding, multiverse. It's, it's all the same thing. I know all about it. I'm, I'm famous in every universe. At, an, at any rate, um, thanks for your help with this story today. And when the library reopens, I hope you'll all come in in person. Stay safe and healthy. Happy Canada Day, everyone!